Just like any other thing in life, I'm sure you have preferences as far as numericals are concerned. Today, our genius maestro of an OK dunk, Dr. Krishan Chabra, says 17 is better than 43. Hmm, 17 is better than 43. Did you say what? Why? How? Hmm, I don't really know. Let's get to the bottom of this and find out the answer to why is 17 better than 43? Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chabra and welcome to An OK Rank. Today's topic is 17 is better than 43. I know you must be wondering, what am I talking about? Well, it's generally believed that it takes 17 muscles to smile and 43 muscles to frown. While there may be some disagreement about the exact number of muscles, there is no denying that smiling is much better than frowning. Let me start by sharing some interesting quotes. First, some quotes from some unknown authors. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Smile is the shortest distance between two people. Every day you spend without a smile is a lost day. Anger doesn't make things easier. Tears don't bring back what has been gone. That's why smile is always the best revenge. When life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, show life that you have a thousand reasons to smile. All people smile in the same language. And here are some more quotes. Smile is a free therapy, Douglas Horton. You're never fully dressed without a smile, Martin Chernin. A smile is a curve that sets everything straight, Phyllis Diller. Your smile will give you a positive countenance that will make people feel comfortable around you, Les Brown. We shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do, Mother Teresa. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened, Dr. Seuss. A warm smile is the universal language of kindness, William Arthur Ward. Smile is the key that fits the lock of everybody's heart, Anthony D'Angelo. War is a game that's played with a smile. If you can't smile, grin. If you can't grin, keep out of the way till you can, Winston Churchill. A smile is the light in your window that tells others that there is a caring, sharing person inside, Dennis Waitley. A smile is the universal welcome, Max Eastman. A smile costs nothing but creates much. It enriches those who receive without impoverishing those who give. It happens in a flash and the memory of it sometime lasts forever. Dale Carnegie, surely a variety of thought-provoking quotes. One thing that separates us human beings from the animals is our capacity to smile. So, why smile? There are countless studies that show that smile has numerous benefits. For example, it releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones. It increases serotonin, a chemical which reduces stress. It produces greater quantities of antibodies and white blood cells which boost the immune system. It is contagious. If you greet someone with a smile, there is a very good chance that the other person will smile too. It makes people comfortable and allows them to form a stronger and more positive connection, a foundation for a good relationship. And the list goes on and on and on. But the big question is, how can we smile more often and develop a habit of smiling? The dictionary defines habit as a behavior, behavioral pattern acquired through frequent repetitions until it becomes almost involuntary. So first off, start smiling at every opportunity. If you can't smile, just fake it. Remember the saying, fake it until you make it? According to Jiro, it's easier to fake your smile than to explain, why are you sad? A fake smile is better than no smile. And of course, a sincere or heartfelt smile is much better than a fake or artificial smile. You can differentiate between the two. Sincere smiles cause the corners of your eyes to scrunch up. 
insincere, insincere smiles don't. When in doubt, just smile. It may confuse people and they won't know what you are up to and that's okay. Create new opportunities. If you're waiting or standing in a line, just look at the person behind you or around you, smile, say hello and maybe start a conversation. It's well known among the telephone sales associates that when they smile and are on the phone, the person at the other end can hear it in their voice and is likely to react positively. In other words, if we learn to smile at every opportunity, it will become a second nature and we'll be smiling without any conscious effort. According to Sean Acor, if you smile often enough, you end up rewiring your brain to make positive patterns more often than it does negative ones. Happiness is a work ethic. It's something that requires our brains to train just like an athlete has to train. The more we train, the easier it becomes to think positive, shut off negativity and in turn boost your productivity and creativity which allows you to perform better in work and in life. And yes, all those benefits can come from a simple smile. And now this is what I would like to say. It's free, simple and takes very little effort. It's free, simple and takes very little effort flashing your pearly whites into a smile. Secret of a happy, healthy and balanced life. Secret of a happy, healthy and balanced life for countless benefits, you just need to smile. Turning negatives into positives and losses into wins. Turning negative into positives and losses into wins are without any doubt the wonders of a smile. Remember the saying, when life gives you limes. Remember the saying, when life gives you limes, L-I-M-E-S. Rearrange the letters till they say and stay S-M-I-L-E. Smile. Please join me again on the first Sunday of next month for another segment of an OK Rank. Namaskar.